Elaine Welteroff knows a thing or two about taking on new challenges. Of course, she's a judge on Bravo's <laughs> Project Runway, as a best as being as well as being a best-selling author. And now she has an advice column for the Washington Post called Ask Elaine. Mm. So today we've lined up some questions for her from our viewers. Elaine, we loved when you were on, and we love your outfit. We yeah, made that. Oh, very cool. That. Thank you, ladies. Okay. Can you believe that this is actually designed by the winner of last season's Project Runway? That is so amazing. Designer, cool. yes. It's Chantal Locayo. She's incredible. So, Beautiful. yes. So Beautiful. cool. She's okay. so excited to be on the show <laughs> via the suit. We're so happy. Okay, so before we get to viewer questions, which we have quite a few for you, and your Washington Post column, Ask Elaine, this week, you tackled yeah. a pretty timely situation. So the reader was struggling to have conversations yeah. with friends and family. They said they're always playing referee between people with Walking opposing eggshells. We're everybody. about to get into yeah, holidays. This is happening. So what's the yeah. advice? If this isn't the most relevant question of all, I don't know what is. Listen, in these times, knowing when and how to pivot in and out of conversations that are like hot button, heated, yeah. heat, heated topics yeah. is a major life skill. So what I would say is, first of all, it's never your responsibility to referee grown folks' conversation. Yeah, that's great. You know, so stay close to the disengage button. And if you need to step out of the conversation to preserve your sanity, please, by all means, do yes. so. But if you do want to engage, know your role and read the room. Like, if you are not the host, there's very little you have control over other than yourself. Yeah. So try to lead with empathy and stay curious. Like it's the curiosity is the mm. ultimate diffuser. That's good. That's actually really so, important. Right, listening <laughs> and just asking, asking follow-up questions. questions. Yeah, it just diffuses everyone. It keeps the defenses down. It keeps the ears open. Yes, you good. know that's so important. All right, we've got some viewer questions. First, we've got Adrian from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Take a look. I used to travel and sing, um, but I gave it all up to raise my children. And I don't regret it at all. But now I'd like to continue pursuing my dream, and I don't know where to start. Um, I did recently make a video, um, but I don't know where to go from here. What's your advice? That, by the way, what a beautiful, yes. she wants to get back in the game. Yes, and I feel like so many women yeah. deal with this. Yeah. I feel like that question, this answer applies to anybody yeah. who has ever felt like they had to let a dream die yeah. for any reason. It is never too late to pick yeah. back up a dream yes. deferred totally. and reignite that passion. And in her case, by the way, she's so gorgeous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get yourself back out there. Share that self-shot video. Get it up there on TikTok, yes. Instagram. Start a series. Commit to it. And just remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Like, the internet and social media are incredible vehicles for getting yourself out there that didn't exist before. That's so Take true. Take advantage of it. It doesn't have to be perfect. So you say get the video, put it on TikTok, and yeah. just put it on your own platforms and hope it gets picked up kind Absolutely. Of thing. I think you have to start where you are, you know? Yeah. And I think it's you have to be comfortable starting, you know, as a hobby. It may yeah. not be a, a right, career right away, yeah. but yeah. I also think tap back into your old music network. Yeah, right. that's such right. a great idea. Yeah. Maybe take a class or something. Yeah. Okay, we have another question from Mike from Salt Lake City, Utah. I just moved from New York to Utah, and I'm looking to make some new friends. How do I start? That, you know what? That's like the age-old question. And by the way, he's so charismatic. Don't you picture him having, but, like, I mean, I remember my, my son, Hal, was like, who's three, was like, it said to his teacher, can you help me make a friend? I want to make that friend. And I love that because it is something that takes work. It's yeah, not it just... Does. What do you do as a grown-up? Especially as an adult. Yeah, yeah, like, it's so hard to make new friends at any stage of life, but especially when you're an adult and you don't have a built-in community, you have to be way more intentional about yeah. cultivating adult friendships. Yes. So I love that he put this question out there, and hopefully people will see it and reach out to him. But I think it's really important to, like, not be afraid, once again, to put yourself out there. Yeah. Make the first move. Mm -hmm. And when you're in a new city, jump on Facebook, find a local group, especially in a place like that. There's tons of outdoor activities. Yes. Like, your your passion and your hobbies are the thing that will connect you with people, like-minded people. Yeah. It's just like when we were at recess, you know? Like totally. People would gather around to play kickball, mm -hmm. and then you meet new yeah. people Join through activities. Like, join a kickball lead or yeah. something. Exactly. Yeah. That's, really That's a great right. idea. We've okay, got we Yolanda in Los Angeles with our final one. Okay. I currently work as a writer's assistant in the film industry, and I'm having a hard time pivoting from assistant roles to higher positions. 
I'm really interested in obtaining a position as a TV staff writer, and I was wondering if you have any advice or guidance on how to land in the writer's room as a staff writer. Sounds like she feels stuck at Yeah. Work. Yeah, so many people feel this way. I love this question. Here's what I say. Sometimes you have to do the job you want before you get the job you want. Mm -hmm. So take it from Issa Rae. Let her be yeah. like your North Star. She wrote directed, produced, and starred in her own mini-series on yeah. YouTube yeah. that one day became a hit HBO yeah. show, yes, right? Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like, you want to be a writer? Start writing. Yeah. Right. Get your scripts together so that you're ready when the opportunity comes. Right. Also, like, don't be afraid and don't forget to just focus on being great at the job you have. Yeah, totally. That's because good. those referrals go farther than you can imagine. And I'll also shout out Lena Waithe here because she started out as an assistant to some of the biggest names mm -hmm. in TV. Yes. <clears throat> From Ava DuVernay to Mara Brock Akeel. And she just get getting passed around as an assistant because yes. she was the fastest at getting and coffee. The best. Yeah. And the best yeah. and the most excited in the room. That's how you get noticed. And then once you're noticed, make sure you're ready with the opportunity, when the opportunity right. comes with that script. Elaine, gosh, that awesome. your knowledge. Great advice. It's awesome. Coming up I next. I love you guys. We love, love you. you too. Thank you.